What's up, guys? Caroline Jackpot coming at you Tuesday evening. Uh, just saw today a news story popped across me from Bleacher Report. Not from the uh, 24-7 site, but it was actually from Bleacher Report that uh, Will Muschamp has joined uh, the list of folks uh, in the college football world who is taking a salary cut this year. That's right. It says he's taking a salary cut of 10%. So, uh, old Coach Boomy, who at the present time uh, in his contract, he is slated to make, and let me just reiterate that whatever he is slated to make this year is too damn much. Uh, you know that, I know that, the whole world knows it. Uh, but he is slated to make $4.43 million this year. So that little pay cut is going to dock him uh, about four hundred and forty-three thousand uh, dollars off his salary, which uh, is enough to buy um, probably a, a nicer home than uh, definitely most myself or most anyone who's probably watching my channel uh, will ever hope to live in, uh, much less probably even enter uh, in their whole entire life as a visitor, uh, unless you're uh, you know like the garbage man or a pair man or something. Yeah. So uh, there's that, but uh, going from uh, 4.43 million down to around the uh, uh, 4. Point, uh, well, 4 million mark per year. Whatever he makes, like I said, it is too damn much. This man has been stealing money from the University of South Carolina, uh, from the Gamecock Club members, uh, from the folks who uh, pay into that. For years, he has been stealing money for years. I borrowed that line. You like that, don't you? I borrowed that little line from uh, one of the podcasts I listened to, a wrestling podcast, the Jim Cornette podcast. He talked about if you ever heard about him, a wrestler uh, back in the day, uh, the big cat Ernie Ladd, He's about seven foot tall, big old black guy. And uh, not only was he the uh, uh, wrestler, but he was also a booker who ran the territory. And back in the early 80s, maybe it was the late 70s, I'm not really sure, uh, I was talking about uh, Ernie Ladd uh, jumping on to King Kong Bundy. You know who King Kong Bundy is, wrestled in the, in the 80s in the WWF, wrestled Hulk Hogan in like WrestleMania 2, brother. Uh, and and, and um, anyway, uh, I guess it was in Texas or Louisiana or some shit like that, whatever they were, were wrestling at the time. Ernie, big cat lad, jumped all over his case and said you know what you're doing every time you come out here every time you cash a check you're stealing from the company Bundy you're stealing from the company you fat worthless piece of shit Bundy and your problem is you don't know how to get over and you're stealing from the company Bundy but anyway that's what I feel about Will Muschamp he's stealing from the University of South Carolina so uh Congrats that they had him take a pay cut. It says that Ray Tanner, the athletic director, is part of that pay cut as well, but that's not been publicized. What's been publicized is the Will Muschamp deal, and um, he deserves it. Guy doesn't deserve it. He should be one of the lowest paid uh, Power Five coaches, uh, in my opinion, um, just based off. What, what he's doing, and I've often said, you know, I hate contracts. I mean, I really hate these contracts. I hate that deal. I mean, it's not right. It is not right. Um, you And I know, I understand that you can get some incentives based on merit. I know that, you know, for, uh, you know, making this tier of a bowl game, they pay you a little bit extra, give you a little cherry on top with your salary or whatever, but I, you know, I just think that somebody, you should just be paid uh, a, a low, uh, whatever you call it, a, um, a low end rate, which is like a, a guarantee when it's very low and everything else is just built up upon merit. You know, you shouldn't start way up here and have the opportunity to earn way up here if your expectations, or not your expectations, your results come in down here. Like below where I'm waving at, like way down here, and I'm like, no, -hoo -hoo. don't do that anymore. Uh, but that's what I feel about that. But that's never going to happen. That's not realistic. You know, you'd never be able to to get great coaches if you uh, had a price structure like that. Well, guess what? We hadn't got them. We hadn't got them. We've got uh, 
a miserable jamoke who uh, whose ceiling is about eight wins a year. So there's that. I noticed old Dabo didn't take a pay cut, or haven't haven't seen anything about him taking a pay cut, and I'm I'm sure he won't. I'm sure he won't. Um, in other news, uh, saw yesterday that uh, Furman University up here in the Upstate is cutting their baseball program. Now this isn't just Furman. Uh, I've seen where this has happened all over the country. Uh, lots of teams have cut out uh, a lot of different sports. Um, lower level sports of baseball. I haven't seen anybody else who cut their baseball team yet, but perhaps somehow Furman's also cutting uh, their lacrosse team. I guess it's the guys' lacrosse team. I'm not sure. But if they cut a, uh, a guy's sport, I was under the assumption that they're supposed to cut a female sport as well. I'm not really sure about that. But at any rate, I feel bad for them. Um, on one note but on the other note I don't, I don't feel that bad because i know from being around this area long enough Furman has enough rich old alums who will uh pull together enough money they'll they'll get that baseball program back it might take a couple of years for this this garbage to uh to pass us by uh, or us to be looking at it in the rear view mirror but they will get that baseball program back i'm pretty sure they were pretty successful i played a lot over at uh the, uh, the minor league baseball stadium and so forth. So I hate to see that happen, but um, uh, it is what it is. Cuts have to be made. And uh, right now there's a, a lot of things not bringing in any revenue. And uh, when, when that's just economics, you know, it's just supply and demand and you know all that good crap. So unfortunate, uh, very unfortunate. Um, but I, you know, when I'm talking about the college football season for 2020, I mean, to some of y'all, when y'all are watching college football videos, I mean, and talking college football for 2020, are y'all still, are y'all still optimistic? I mean, I'm still pretty optimistic. Or to some of you of you, are you like, you know, they're making these videos, but I mean, I don't really know if there's a reason why. It's just crazy. I couldn't imagine them not having a season. If they don't have a season this year, they, you, you talking about, you think there's cuts now. There, you think there's cuts now. I'm talking about there'll probably be basketball programs going away. Um, it'll be, it will be, it'll be tremendous if um, there's no football played in 2020. But Will Muschamp takes the salary cut, does the right thing. I'm glad to see it. Uh, hopefully, this lowers his buyout a little bit more as well. And um, you know, even in these struggling economic times. Uh, that will be able to uh, be taken care of at the end of the year because God Almighty, it needs to. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Appreciate it. Peace. And I'm out. Spurs up to my toes up, baby. Let's fire. Boom. Ah, ah, ah. Woo!